Imagine this. You're lying on a wooden table in a dimly lit room. The air smells of herbs and smoke. A healer stands over you with a sharpened stone in one hand and a chant on their lips. Surgery, in ancient times, wasn't just a medical procedure, it was a leap of faith, a mix of magic, ritual, and survival. Surgery has existed for thousands of years. Some of the earliest evidence comes from ancient Egypt, where medical papyri like the Edwin Smith papyrus described surgical techniques. But surgery wasn't the scientific discipline we know today. Back then, it was intertwined with religion and mysticism. Obsidian blades, like the one you see here, were sharp enough to make precise cuts, but their use was often accompanied by prayers to gods like Thoth, the deity of medicine. These tools weren't just instruments, they were believed to channel divine power. The Greeks and Romans advanced surgical practices, creating tools that might seem familiar today, scalpels, forceps, even early versions of bone saws. But these instruments were often terrifying in their simplicity. Take trepanation, for example, the practice of drilling a hole into the skull. In ancient times, this was done to release evil spirits or cure migraines. With no anesthesia, patients endured unimaginable pain, and survival rates were shockingly high for the time. In ancient India, the physician Sushruta used tools like curved scalpels and needles for precise surgeries, including cataract removal. His techniques were groundbreaking, yet his tools were handcrafted from basic metals, far from the sterile equipment we use today. In many cultures, surgery wasn't purely physical, it was steeped in magical beliefs. Shamans and healers used chants, amulets, and rituals to guide surgical outcomes. They believed that disease was caused by spirits or curses, so curing it often meant combining tools with supernatural interventions. For example, in some African traditions, carved animal bones were used as tools and symbols to ward off bad spirits during procedures. In medieval Europe, the decline of scientific knowledge turned surgery into something almost medieval in its cruelty. Surgeons, often barbers by trade, used rudimentary tools like saws and bloodletting devices. Bloodletting, a common practice, involved using leeches or knives to drain bad blood. Cupping instruments were used to create suction wounds, believed to balance bodily humors. Surgery at this time was as much about superstition as it was about survival. Infection and death were common, but these practices paved the way for future advancements. Today surgery is a highly advanced field, with tools made from stainless steel and guided by robotics. Yet, many of these instruments trace their origins back to ancient times. The sharp obsidian blades of the past inspire today's precision scalpels. The principles of trepanation are still used in neurosurgery, albeit with far more sophisticated tools. From crude stone tools to laser-guided systems, the journey of surgical instruments shows how far we've come, and how much we owe to the ingenuity of ancient healers. The story of surgery is one of evolution, pain, and perseverance. What began as magic has transformed into one of the most precise sciences known to humanity. And yet, every tool in the modern operating room carries echoes of the past. If you enjoyed this journey through the bizarre history of surgical tools, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Who knows what other hidden stories await discovery?